All right, just wanted to do a quick video exposing the Jesuit false gospel that is very prevalent within the street papist movement. I call them street papists because the gospel that a lot of these street preachers are proclaiming is not the gospel of Jesus Christ found in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 1 through 4. It's the gospel of Rome and the Jesuit order found in the Catechism of the Catholic Church and also the Jesuit Council of Trent particularly session 6 and canons number 20, uh, 24, 27, and also 23. So, and I'm going to show you proof of this, by the way, too. It's not just me, you know, ranting and raving, whatever else. You know, uh, I'm going to show you proof that uh, this is a street preacher. His name is uh, Pastor, Pastor Aiden. And uh, notice how when he proclaims the gospel, it's not, he doesn't even go to 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 through 4. In fact, his gospel, he proclaims, is totally void. It, it makes no mention whatsoever of Jesus Christ dying for my sin. It's totally, it, you, you're going to see it's hinging on you keeping yourself saved by your holiness. It's work salvation, okay? Uh, check this out. So let's let us first define what the true gospel is. The true gospel is Jesus is God. You must repent of your sin. You must accept Jesus as your Lord, not just your Savior. If he's not your Lord, he's not your Savior. And you must live holy. And holiness is defined. And you will grow or you will go. You, you will grow in God. He wants you from glory to glory. He doesn't want a five-year-old acting like a five-year-old when they're ten years old. So you're going to grow or you're going to go. True holiness. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. Endure till the end. That's the true gospel. That's what uh, No, that's not what the true gospel is. See, notice that. They're not preaching what the Bible says about, you know, uh, if any man be in Christ is a new creature. See, your holiness is the Holy Ghost working in you. Okay, it's not like the easy believers where you just live however you want, and you know there's no there's no change in you know regeneration from the Holy Ghost. See, easy believism is heresy as well. It, it's it's a false dichotomy. I'll put it like that. Work salvation devils like this guy and easy believers heretics like you know the Jack Smack Seven Seven who justify uh, playing wicked video games and listening to Grand Theft Auto and or sorry uh, playing Grand Theft Auto and listening to wicked music. But notice what's the gospel and how he defines it. It, no mention whatsoever of Jesus Christ died for my sins according to the scriptures. You know, he died, was buried, and rose again. No mention of that. See, it's all about you. And when they mean repent of your sins, they don't mean uh, godly sorrow over your sin. They mean your turn, your, your living sinlessly perfect to essentially save yourself. And you will have to live holy. You must endure. See, it's all about you. Your righteousness. You're saving yourself. No mention of Jesus Christ died for my sins according to the scriptures. No mention of, you know, God saving me. You know, God is the one who provides salvation. What, you know, because they, they don't believe that. Just like any lost Catholic, their salvation. See, he, he'll, he'll deny it. But when you really get down to what he believes, it's not that, you know, essentially his salvation, just like any lost Catholic, is not finished at the cross. It's a continual process of you basically staying saved and keeping yourself saved. And really saving yourself by your by your works i'll put it like that okay how what is the what is the gospel okay first corinthians 15 verse 1 through 4 moreover brethren i declare unto you the gospel which i preach unto you wherein sorry which also uh you have received and wherein you stand by the by which also you are saved if you keep memory what i preach unto you unless you have believed in vain for i deliver unto you the first sorry first of all sorry first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Notice that. First uh, thing he mentions is the fact that Christ is the one who died for your sins. Is that what he said right there uh, about the gospel? No, he said, what's the gospel? Uh, you know, Christ is God, amen, but you must live holy. You must repent of your sins. You must endure to the end. See, all about you, but what is the gospel? The true gospel is Christ died for my sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. See, biblical salvation is Jesus Christ is the one who saves you. Jesus Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures. The false salvation of Rome and the Jesuit order and the law of the street papists is you're keeping yourself saved and, and essentially working for your salvation by your holiness. Uh, I'm trying to think. Here's a good scripture to really nail these guys. Matthew 7, verses 21 down to... Verse 23. This is the one they like twisting, by the way, too, but it actually uh, rebukes them, ironically. Uh, Matthew uh, 7, verse 21, down to verse... Uh, oops. 23. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Now, notice notice the contrast of... Because this is the judgment of lost people. Notice the lost people, how they're speaking to God. 
okay? And notice how it's all about what they did. Watch this, check this out. And, and we're gonna compare it to the judgment seat of Christ, you know, with the saved people. Matthew 7, verse uh, 22, Many shall say unto me that day, in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? See, notice that it's all about, they're saying, look what we did, look what we did, look at what we did, you know what I mean? Look at our holiness. See, the false, the, the, the false teachers, the false prophets are coming to God, boasting about what they did, thinking it's going to you know, get them into the kingdom of heaven. And then while I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, you that work iniquity. And working iniquity most certainly describes these street papists. A lot of them talk no differently than how I talked when I was, when I was a lost atheist. Just filthy, profane language that comes out of their mouth. You know, just cussing like a sailor to some of these guys is what they do. But, you know, and, and, and by the way, too, they like to use this thing to say that you can lose your salvation. Notice how it says, I never knew you. Okay. If you lost your salvation, that means Christ knew you at one point, but no longer did. So saying, I never knew you means they were never his to begin with. Why? Because they're self-righteous. Verse 22. Have we not prophesied? See, they, they, they come to God boasting about what they did. Another great example showing this is uh, Luke chapter 18. Really great, really great parable that rebukes these guys. Just wicked uh, papists out there. Uh, Luke 18, verse 9, down to verse 14. Uh, and he spake his parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. There we go. This guy right here is a good example of that. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee, the other a publican. Now notice, notice how the Pharisee prays. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as a publican. Verse 12, notice the self-righteousness. I fast twice in a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. See, just coming to God boasting about, look what I did, you know. Uh, verse 13, and the publican standing afar off would not, so, would not lift up so much as his eyes on the heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you that this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. But you see, if you're saving yourself, that doesn't work, does it? Because you're, you can come to God and say, look what I did. You know, because God, remember, it, it, you're living holy to save yourself. So God's letting you into heaven because of what you did, not because of what Jesus Christ did. It's false doctrine. And it's Jesuit too, by the way. Let me show you that. Okay, this is, these are my notes on the, uh, my video I did about the Jesuit heresy of conditional security. Because the, the idea of losing your salvation is a Jesuit Catholic heresy. It's Jesuit in its origin. My dog just walked by. It says, uh, this is in uh, session six. Canon number 23, if any one saith that a man once justified can sin no more nor lose grace, and that therefore he that falls and sins was never truly justified, or that on the other hand, that he is able during his whole life to avoid all sins, even those that are venial except by special privilege to, from God, from, as, a, you know, as the church holds, regard to blessed virgin, let it be anathema. Notice that, you can lose grace. This is in canon number 27. If anyone saith that there is no mortal sin but that of infidelity, or that grace once received is not lost by any other sin, however grievous and enormous, save by that of infidelity, let him be anathema. See, you're 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 keeping yourself saved by your holy living. You know, if you sin, you lose your salvation. It's what these guys preach. You'll notice that they'll say, you know, you got basically there's videos of this guy saying, you know, people who preach for eighty years, they sin, oh, they lost it. You know, yeah. Because it's it's totally hinging hinging on your righteousness. This is in uh, what is it? Canon number twenty four of the uh, Council of Trent. Where is it at? Can Session six, Canon number twenty four. If anyone saith that justice is not preserved and also increased before God through good works, hmm. But the said works are merely the fruits and signs of justification obtained, but not the cause increased thereof. Let him be anathema. See, Jesuit. Uh, the Jesuit false doctrine regarding salvation is basically you're saving yourself by your holiness. Isn't that what he, what he just preached? What's the gospel? You must live holy. It's Jesuit heresy. These, these uh, street papists, that's why I call them that, because they're just preaching Roman Catholicism on the streets. They'll say, well, we, we go, or we rebuke Catholics, we reprove, you know, Catholics at their conventions and everything else. Yeah, that's great and all. And, you know, yeah, of course, they don't believe in the baptismal regeneration heresy and everything else. But as far as 
you know, how, how are your sins forgiven? It's not Jesus Christ died for my sins. It's I'm saving myself by my holiness. That's their false gospel. That's the false gospel of the street papist movement and the false gospel of the Jesuit order and Rome. Plain and simple. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.